Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. I've been in the kitchen some today. My cutting board needs cleaned and I thought what better time than on Tuesday's tips and tricks to show you the proper way to clean a cutting board, a wood one. And I learned this in culinary school and um, I've never changed. You never want to use soap and water on your cutting boards. You really just don't. It's not good for them. It's going to strip them really bad. It could warp them. It's just not good. But what you do use is some kosher salt and some lemon. So very simple. Let me show you how to do it. You take some of your salt, spread it on your cutting board. You can give it a quick rinse when you're done, which, you know, I do, but I never soap and water. There it is. You take a lemon that you cut in half. And you take it down and you work it with that salt into the board. And this really does clean it. The salt is coarse and um, will get up any grimes or anything that you have on it. Any stains. I mean, I do have a couple stains that nothing's going to bring out. But uh, this is the proper way to clean it. If you have any smell of fish on it, this really works also um to get it off now i like to squeeze a little bit of that lemon juice right down on the board keep scrubbing it sometimes you'll find that you'll need a little more abrasion add some more salt get your lemon right into it and work it all around on the board i doubt i'll rinse this actually i do wipe it off with a paper towel this is food coloring and so is this that i was never able to get off no matter what i use this works on all wood cutting boards. There's not any kind this won't work on. You could actually use it for plastic too. If you made fish or some type of smelly food, the lemon's gonna really help absorb that odor. Just keep working it in there. Get it around the sides. Get that part dirty too. All right. Now, what I usually like to do is just take paper towels and wipe it off over really well. Get all the salt off. I like a paper towel more than rinsing it. I very seldom rinse this. Um, I don't even remember in school seeing it rinsed, but um, I know I think I've seen it like on Martha Stewart and stuff where they rinsed it, but mm -mm. I just don't like to do that to my wood cutting boards. And you will have to clean up your work area, but that's still okay. Right now, I'm going to get the rest of the salt up. Remember, if you're dropping some, to toss up a little bit behind your back. Good luck if you're superstitious, which I am. Not really bad, but I am. Okay. Into the garbage. And now, take your last um, paper towel and dry it off really well. And that, my friends, is a very clean cutting board. Cutting boards aren't made to be beautiful all the time. They're really not. You cut on them, you know, food stains them. Um, keep that in mind when buying one. I think this one was like $60. Um, I got it quite a few years back, and I take care of it. And there you go. A very clean, good-smelling cutting board in just like, what, two or three minutes? Four minutes I think so let me know if this is how you clean your cutting board if you have another way I would love to hear from you and I um, appreciate you watching thumbs up like subscribe all that good stuff check out my blog at kjaggers.com for more information and pictures and stay tuned because I have quite a few videos popping up bye bye